Hi everyone, in this lecture I'm going to show you how we can run the Flask development server. Just a very quick note about the Flask development server. Never run the Flask development server for a production app. One, it is not secure and um, two, uh, it is a highly bad practice. Now, it is fine for teaching purposes and for like playing around whenever you're working on your own project. But if you're working in a development, in a production environment, then you should never use this uh, development server or development um, flask development server now the way that these lectures are actually structured is um, even though the actual code for our application is going to be very minimal I don't think it is even like close to 100 lines it's not it's, it's I think it's uh, 60 70 lines even though I can uh, add it within one file the way that I've tried to create this application is in, we, in each lecture that we move on, like in, in each successive lecture, we are going to grab the code from our previous lecture and we are going to build on top of that code. Now, again, there are two approaches to actually teaching this. One is like I just open up one app.py file and start teaching all like 20. Uh, we, uh, we might have like 17 or like 20 something. I don't know how many lectures we are going to have. Uh, but you you know that because the course is done by the by the time you're watching it, of course. But it doesn't matter how many lectures we have. If I just go through the first route and just like s explain everything in one file, that is going to get repetitive and that is going to get very confusing because there is a lot of code that we are going to remove, a lot of code that we are going to modify, we are going to change, we are going to add, and you will never have this idea, okay, where did we start and where it is that we are actually going to end this. So throughout these different Python files, we will be creating this application. And the way that it is going to work that the final Python file is going to contain our complete application. That is going to be the final Python file, uh, which has the name of like CSS styling, something like that, adding CSS. I think it's going to be file number 17. That is going to be the complete application in there. But all the previous iterations of Python files, they're going to have like pieces of that application which we have basically tried to build on top of. So you need to keep that in mind as well. Now in this lecture, again, I just want to go over this development server. Now, whenever we uh, import the Flask class from the Flask module, we create an app object that is going to contain our web application. And we basically provide name here because name, Dunder name basically says that we are working in our in the current module. And then uh, through the app the route decorator, which is an attribute of the app object, we uh, grab this URL, this slash, which is a URL, and we map it to our view function. Why is this a view function? Because we decorated it. Remember decorators where, where we talked about decorators and we said decorators are going to grab a function and are going to bring changes into that function or enhance the functionality of that function. That's how this decorator enhanced this simple function to a view function. Then we say that if the current module equals to the main module, we want to run this application in the debug mode. After that, the only thing that you need to do is just write Python 2 dot running. You basically need to write the name of the file dev uh, server dot pi. When you hit enter, this is going to launch a development server for us, which says do not use it in a production deployment. And this is the URL on which our website is live. So I'm just going to close this one. And when you just hold control and click, it is going to open that URL for us and says this is my very first Flask application. And um, uh, there is one more thing that I would like to say before actually wrapping this lecture up. This was like just a, like another intro to the Flask development server, how it is run, where we are. And um, 
if uh, whenever you're working with uh, through this application through these series of lectures you can't have just one uh, file like app.py because you're actually learning i'm the one who is teaching i have to come up with ways so you can understand these lectures in a coherent way but for you it is not actually necessary to have like 10 15 or 20 files you can just have one app.py and whenever you're watching each lecture you can just bring changes into that app.py file that is uh, one thing and the other thing is from now on we are actually going to work with this side by side so i'm just going to put that here and i'm going to put this one on the side as well because we are going to be going uh, back and forth a lot so it is going to take some time for me just like switch uh, windows i'm just going to put them side by side there we go so with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one